And that, my dear, is why I think the top hat is coming back. What's up? I found out this morning that um, our institute is losing its government funding. What? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. But your lab is one of the top behavioral research institutes in the whole country. I know, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The government thinks there's more important research to be done and they're yanking it, so. Although, who am I kidding? You have no experience with this being a genomics researcher. It's not my fault that genomics research gets all the big bucks from the gov. Why is that? It's, it's, it's not fair. You guys get so much funding. Why? Well, probably because our research has such a huge impact on human health and research like that will always be really well funded. I mean, think about it. Ending disease and improving human health overall, probably one of the most important frontiers of science. I agree with that, although has genomics done that? The way I see it, the biggest problem is that the research itself is so overly hyped. Like there's all of these expectations that it's going to dramatically improve human health. And they're far, far too unrealistic. Yeah. Pretty big statement. That's what you think. That's what I think. Okay. Hold on a second, stop. I'm trying to get this straight. You think that the expectations of genomics are too high. So, what do you think's responsible for that? I think it's obvious. The government, the media, and the researchers themselves. Me? Not you specifically, but yeah, the researchers for sure. Okay, think of this. You have the government expecting all these quick health payoffs forcing you to oversell your work in order to get funding. And then the media comes in, making it worse, by pumping up your discoveries in order to sell papers. Yeah, but it's not that simple. No. Obviously it's not that simple, but it's not that far off. All I'm saying is that genomics has made a lot of promises it hasn't followed through on. I guess you're kind of right about that. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I mean, it's becoming obvious that this genetic revolution that everybody's been talking about is actually turning out to be a slow and uncertain evolution. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you. No, I think I read it in a book somewhere. Maybe I'll admit that there could be a little problem with the hype. But if you're so smart, what's, how do we fix that? I think the problem is communication. The scientists have to understand the danger involved in you know, making unrealistic claims about their work. So we have like a science police? No, not the science, please. But, I don't know, maybe have mandatory communication training for scientists, or have a small portion of grant funding allocated towards science communication. You never know, if there was more money in it, we might see science journalists who don't overhype genomics. It does actually remind me a little of an economic bubble. Uh, 
uh-oh, it's valued for way more than it's actually worth because of these inflated expectations. We gotta burst that bubble. Uh, no, we don't have to burst the bubble. Genomics is still so important. We just have to have a more realistic view of what, how it could change human health. I say maybe we just have to deflate it a little? I win! Oh, I gotcha! I win! Uh, yes! Mm. Sorry, babe. Winners don't lose their funding.